Savannah, maybe you could help your father, and I understand why you would lie about something like that. I already told him. I want to live with my mom, not with him or the freaks. I hate them. Why do you want to live with your mom? She's cool. Dad has a million rules and makes me share a room and do a bunch of crap I don't want to do. Mom just lets me be. I can do what I want and hang out with my boyfriend when I want and have fun. Savannah, I am not trying to be your friend. I'm your parent. I understand that your mom doesn't have rules at her house, but rules are not a bad thing. You still were able to see your friends and boyfriend and have fun as long as your responsibilities were taken care of. You don't let my boyfriend spend the night or go out on school nights. Mom does. You are 15, your boyfriend shouldn't be spending the night. And is that worth potentially having your sister sent to jail? She likes girls. Women's prison would be like a giant party for her. She'd probably thank me. That isn't funny. Trying to ruin people's lives with your lies isn't a laughing matter. It's funny that you think I care. I don't. Can we go home now? Okay, let's move on. Savannah, can we talk about why your mom was not around for a while? Do you think that maybe you are holding onto her so tight right now could be caused by her being taken from you when you were younger? I don't want to talk about that. I'm not a victim of what happened to me, and there's no point bringing it up. It wasn't mom's fault that happened. I can see that this topic is making you upset. Talking about this could help you get these emotions out. It could help you make sense of what you are feeling now. I said I don't want to talk about it. Being sad doesn't change anything. Making me cry isn't going to stop what happened to me. Mom apologized, and it's fine. Son, no, I'm not going to sit here and cry like a little bitch because some cur 33 p did a bad thing over 10 years ago. Okay, I think ending our session here would be a good place. Savannah, I have a journal I would like you to write in to express how you're feeling. Maybe writing it down instead of saying it can help your communication with your dad. Dear Dad, I hate being at your house when April and Brooke are here. They make me feel like I am not important. You are always laughing and happy with them, and never with me. When I am with mom, she always does whatever I want to make me happy. She doesn't leave me out. You treat me like a little kid. I am not a little kid. I am going to be 16 in a few months. When I am 18, my boyfriend and I are getting married, and I will never come back to your house. I am only writing this because the stupid doctor told me I had to. I know you're just going to bring it to my next appointment to try and say I'm crazy, and I don't care. The lady mom takes me to says I am perfectly fine, and you are the problem. I believe her. Did you know that mom was cheating on you and I'm not even your kid? She told me that a few weeks ago. We took a DNA test and everything. So you aren't even my real dad. Maybe the reason you and April weren't able to have another baby is because you can't make babies. It makes sense since you weren't able to get mom pregnant either. I'm going to be such a better parent than you, and my boyfriend is a million times more man than you are. My boyfriend is able to make babies because guess what? I missed my period. So I'm probably pregnant. But don't worry, you won't actually be a grandfather because you aren't my real dad. Mom is going to let my Craig move in with us at her house so he can be there for the baby. 
And I read online that if I have a baby, I can be legally emancipated. I guess it's a good thing that Brooke is a freak. That way you don't have to worry about having two teenagers knocked up. Since I'm not your daughter, and this isn't your actual grandchild, you don't get to keep me here and tell me what to do. This is going to be the last time I come over. You don't get to control me anymore. I'm an adult now. So I hope you have the very best life with your best, most favorite wife and kid. I will be having my best life with my real dad and my baby and Fyank. I hope once I go home I never see you again. You should go to the doctor and get your sheet checked out. Maybe you can try again to have a baby of your own. We need to have a serious discussion about Savannah. What do you want, Joseph? Honestly, if this is because she didn't want to go to whatever crockpot doctor you dragged her to, I don't care. No. To start, she has told me you did a DNA test with another man and she is not my daughter. Is this true? I don't believe she would say that to you at all. You know she is your daughter. That is a ridiculous accusation. I am not accusing you of anything. This is what she wrote herself in a letter to me. You can ask her if you do not believe me. Okay, well, it isn't true. She is your daughter, and if you don't believe me, you can feel free to take a DNA test of your own. Is that it? No, it is not. Are you allowing her boyfriend to spend the night with her? I allow her to make her own adult decisions so long as she keeps her grades up and does the chores I ask. She is almost an adult, and it's time she was treated as such. Wonderful, because she also told me she thinks that she is pregnant. Is that a lie as well, or are we about to be grandparents? That's ridiculous. She's on birth control. I took her to get it myself. She isn't pregnant. She's a 15-year-old girl in the middle of a breakdown. Do you think she's remembering to take a pill every day? I have an appointment scheduled at the doctor tomorrow morning to get her tested and checked for STDs. Please have her there. Honestly, I think this is too much. I can make her take a test tonight. She doesn't need to be humiliated at the doctor's office. She's apparently having sex without protection, so having her checked is just as important as having her tested. Please bring her, or I will take her on my own during my next visit. Fine, we will be there, but I am not paying for this. It's ridiculous. She doesn't need to be tested. She needs to feel safe with her father. You have warped her mind so much, and the damage that has been done is insane. You ruined your relationship with her. I care more about being her parent than being her friend. If that makes me the bad parent, I accept that. I will see you both tomorrow morning. I can take her on my own, and you can reimburse me for the copy. No, I will be there as well. Okay, so we will be getting results back from the lab on your STD check in the next few days, and we will contact you if there is anything to report. Thank you. Can you ensure to contact both myself and Renee so that we both receive the results? Of course. Now we need to discuss the results of the urine pregnancy test. No way. Is it positive? I was literally just trying to make my dad angry when I said I was pregnant. This is too good. Doctor, is she pregnant? The results are positive. According to the test, you are in fact pregnant. We can go over all of the options if you would like to, 
and go ahead and set you up with whatever appointment you will be needing. Do the test again. She isn't pregnant. We can run it again if you'd like, but I can assure you that these tests are extremely accurate. I don't care how accurate the tests are, run it again. Do the blood one if you need to. My 15-year-old daughter is not pregnant. Savannah, are you okay with having some more blood taken for another test? I am her mother and I said run it. Savannah, sit down and roll your sleeve back up. Yeah, that's fine, I don't care. All right, I'll have the lab run this really fast and I will be right back in with results. Damn, I can't believe I'm actually pregnant. I didn't think I could get pregnant. You aren't pregnant. And if you are, you aren't keeping the baby. No daughter of mine is having a baby when they're only 15. Or nay, that isn't your choice to make. If she is pregnant, that's her decision to make, not ours. Yeah, if I'm pregnant, it's up to me and my boyfriend if I keep the baby. It's not up to you or dad. That's my baby. Little girl, if you got yourself knocked up, then you're adult enough to find a place to live. I am not raising your baby for you. I've done my time. So if you got yourself in this situation, you need to fix it or you're out of my house. Okay, everyone, the blood results are back and you are in fact pregnant. I've brought some pamphlets in about each of your options. You do not have to decide today, of course. But you are in fact pregnant.